We're getting next, getting set for our next contest between Shamil Mausikov and Rustem Fakulin. Junior welterweight action. Let's send it down to the center of the ring. Красный угол ринга, боксер 25 лет, рост 174 сантиметра, вес 65 килограммов ровно. Провел три боя, одержал три победы, одна нокаутом, ни одного поражения. Из Грозного Шамиль Мальцага. Рефери в ринге Алексей Козлов. Первый раунд. Round one underway of this eight-round junior welterweight contest between Shamil Masakov. You see him in the black trunks trimmed with white. He is the fighter uh, without hair. To make it easy, Rustem Fatkulin in the black trunks, also trimmed with white. Fatkulin in the, the white gloves. And this has the potential to maybe be the best action fight on the card, both these guys. Very aggressive fighters. Both like to fight on the inside when they can get there. We'll see how this one shakes out. Malsikov comes into this fight with a record of 3-0. and And Fatkulin, a somewhat deceiving record of 8-8. Eight and eight. Three of those wins coming by way of knockout. He's, I would describe him as a high-level opponent. A lot of those losses, a lot of his opponents have been Pretty good fighters. Guys like Sozlan Tadeyev, who just went the distance with Keratin Agraba. Uh, Vladimir Sarakanyan, who's going to be taking on Vyacheslav Gusev in his next bout. And already, you can see these two getting in close, exchanging body shots. And the tempo of this fight very different from our opener between Natezov and Haratunian. Masakov was a good amateur representing Russia, particularly in his junior and youth days. Good body shot there from Masakov. But Fakulin fights back off the ropes. Good uppercuts from Malsakov. Fatkulin tried to reply with his own. But Malsakov just a little bit busier here over the last minute or so. Starting to put Fatkulin now on the back foot. Hard hook up top from Malsakov. Final 10 seconds of what has been an action-packed opening round with Shamil Maskalov and Rustem Fakulin.
Round two underway. We'll see if Shamil Masakov can build upon what he was doing in the last minute or so of uh, the opening round. He had Rustam Fatkulin on the back foot. He was really banging away to the body, which has been his hallmark, really, in the early stages of his career. He sits, sets everything up with the jab, particularly a jab to the body. He loves throwing it downstairs. And these two exchanging shots on the inside. Malsagov and Fakulin just going at it here in the second round. Counter right over the top from Fakulin, but Malsagov comes back with four shots. At least two of those landing. Fakulin recently made the uh, transition, or at least added to his repertoire. Bare knuckle boxing, he made his debut in bare knuckle on May 29th. And so it's kind of miraculous that he's in here fighting here tonight because he said that his hands after his first bare knuckle fight, they were swollen up, he said, to the size of gloves. So the fact that he's back in here and fighting at the end of June speaks to the toughness of this man who is now going to oscillate between both forms of boxing. Final minute of round two. Left hook to the body from Malsagov. Goes back down there again. The action really picking up here in the second round. That chopping right hand from Fatkulin brought about a warning from the official. And starting to get a little chippy on the inside. Stiff jab there from Malsikov. The second one parried away by Fakulin. Good action to close out round two. Round three begins. Shamil Malsagov and Rustem Fatkulin. Junior welterweight action here at the USC Soviet Wings Arena in Moscow, Russia. And this one from the outset had the potential of being a, a show stealer, the best action fight on the card. And it is living up to the billing so far. Masagov at 3-0, getting his toughest test from Fatkulin. I mentioned that Fatkulin's 8-8 eight eight record a little bit misleading. We saw him land a big overhand right a moment ago. Fatkulin started his career 
eight and zero, and it was after a loss to Vyacheslav Gusev in 2017 that his slide began. You might remember Gusev he fought on US TV against Gary Russell. He more recently fought Emmanuel Tago. He's fought Juan Carlos Burgos. So this was a, a quality fighter and, and an experienced fighter that he was thrown in with at 8-0. And, and after that, he was just treated differently by matchmakers, by promoters. So now he's mostly been tasked with either facing higher level prospects, guys like Malsagov, or tasked with keeping more experienced fighters busy. And that's the difference between Fatkulin and a guy like Arkady Haratunian, who we saw in our broadcast opener. But yes, they're both used as opponents, as we would call them, as, as B-side fighters, but Fatkulin is too much for a, a novice-level fighter, guys breaking into the sport. If you don't have a big amateur career and a big right hand like that, Fatkulin will be too much, and I think the referee's waving this one off. That will do it, Shamil Malsagov. An explosive knockout victory over Rustem Fakulin, the official not wasting any time. take a look back at the replay here. We were talking about what the ceiling would be for Fatkulin. And I think he just reached it. Shamil Malsakov meets him with that right hand. Comes over the top of what looked like was going to be a left hook from Fatkulin and ends the show immediately. We had speculated that maybe the turnaround for Fatkulin a little bit too much. He fought in a bare knuckle bout on May 29th, now back on June 27th, facing a serious prospect like Shamil Malsagov. And Malsagov gets him out of there. Wow, what an explosive performance from Malsagov. Just the second time Fatkulin has been stopped in his career. Победу техническим нокаутом одержал и остается не